All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today, we're going to be looking at video to blog. Now I'm on screen. I usually am not on screen, but I'm gonna be trying something out maybe for the next couple of weeks on the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't think it makes a big deal if I'm on camera or not, but we'll see if this attracts a larger audience. And of course, I'll actually share that with you guys because that's what I like to do on this channel is test different things, test software, and then apply them to my business and then relay that information back to you guys. So if this uh, adds five or 10% more engagement to my videos, then obviously that's probably a pretty good thing. So let me know what you guys think, but we're gonna get into video to blog. This is also gonna be a different format. Instead of this being a 40 minute uh, unboxing software video, I'm actually um, have already spent an hour or two going over the software, working out some of the kinks. I can already tell you some of the things that might be wrong with it, some technical difficulties that I'm having, but then also the really, really bright side and the really good things about video to blog. Now I've been using, I've been searching for a tool like video to blog for a very long time. Uh, you guys saw that I did a, a review a, a month or two ago on Blog Fox. That one looked very promising. It used Claude Sonnet 3.5, which is my favorite AI writing model, but it, a lot of things just didn't work. The website didn't connect. There were missing pieces and it didn't work or live up to like the hype. Definitely had a slick user interface and all that. And the idea was great, but it just didn't work. And then the content was um, not as, as good as I would like. So I have looked at a lot. I've even tried to use Koala and paste my YouTube video in there and see what it can do for me. And I've used Agility. I've used all these tools, right? And they really don't kind of fulfill the workflow and the kind of content tone um, that I'm looking for. So I'm still on in search for this. This looks very promising. So we're going to jump into it. You can already see over here, it's got 18 reviews. This might be five stars. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in real quick. And we're going to look at the reviews section. And I'm hoping that I can actually come in here, click on see all reviews. And there we go. So it's got 18 reviews, a star rating. No one has given it less than five tacos. Okay. So pretty cool stuff right there. You're welcome to go and read all about that right there. But what I want to do is just go and show you what you get with the pricing. So license tier one, you get $49, 10 blog posts per month. I like this. It's just super simple, right? You look at this and the only thing separating the different models, you get everything that the, that the tool offers. And the only thing that separates the pricing models is 10 blog posts per month. Now, wouldn't it be great if all tools actually had a like a pricing model like this, where it was really just one feature that really, you know, was the, uh, the deciding factor between the different licenses. It just makes everything so easy. There's no guessing games, no weird credit things going on. The license tier one, 49 bucks, 10 blog posts per month. License tier two, 99 bucks. You get 20 blog posts per month. License tier three, you get as for $199 you get 40 blog posts per month. You can go to license tier four at 499, 499 bucks, and you get 100 blog posts per month. And we'll go to license tier five, all in at $999. And that includes 200 blog posts per month. Now, this is definitely not gonna be your spray and pray method or your, like, what is it, programmatic SEO, where you're trying to create a thousand blog posts a day or a week or a month. This is gonna be for people that are actually going out there, uh, like myself, creating content and then put, trying to repurpose a video into a blog post, right? So this is a very specific targeted audience like myself that, that does YouTube first, and then I do blogging second. And so this is a great tool for those types of people. Now, I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna show you a couple couple different things and a couple things that I want to actually I'm just going to dive in let's create this I'm going to recreate this rankalytics review I'm going to show you what we're capable of doing I've already ran this through and I'm going to go over that at the end of the video so you want to stick around because I'm going to show you the things that were wrong about it and why I'm going to redo this and so forth I also have watched another reviewer's video on this so I'm or I'm going to skip the YouTube dropping in a YouTube link there's just no, I'm not gonna do that. If I record a video and I already have the native video MP4 that I uploaded to YouTube, it's better just to grab that video because lately in the last couple of months, there's uh, YouTube has cracked down on being able to, for these external third-party tools to be able to download and access YouTube videos. So since the tool already gives us the ability to just upload our video direct to them, I think that that's the best way to do it anyways. And I think you're gonna get the better results that way. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna create blog. And this is where you could drop your YouTube link in, but I'm gonna choose to upload my own 
right over here, you can see Ranklytics. I'm gonna go ahead and push open. Now this is a 49 minute video, right? Long video, it did handle this. You can see I have 10, 10 blog posts. I already used one, but I'm willing to use another one to, to go through and show you how the tool works. So you upload the MP4 right there. You have in custom instructions. Now, last time I did put first person tone, um, but there's another section down here where we can choose that as well. But I am going to say something like first person tone, like I'm talking to a friend, create a table for the pricing section. And then right over here, use uh, images. And I don't, I didn't count on the last one. We'll, we'll see if we, I can remember to, to count how many images it gets and how close it gets to following those instructions, right? Now we have all these options. Now let me just say that the UI of this is extremely simplistic, right? Like you come in, there's like nothing that you can really do other than create a blog post, right? So they, there's one direction. This is a very, very much fulfilling an MVP, a minimal viable product. They know exactly what their tool is. They're not trying to be a keyword research tool and an SEO tool and a keyword ranking tracking. Like those tools have their place, right? Like it's and stuff. But I, a, a tool that can solve this exact problem that people like myself that create YouTube videos and want a really, really good blog post created from it um, and that can write in their tone and so forth, those are, you know, they know exactly what their targeted audience is. So I like that they're just focused on this one thing right here. So what over here, you're going to go here, you're going to click add visuals. You can in embed the video. You'll see what that looks like a little bit later on, but I'm actually going to say no, because it's actually not part of my work pro flow process on this blog. I already have a way to bring my YouTube video in automatically from a plugin that I use on WordPress. So I don't need to bring that in. We do want to add screenshots in right here. You can choose screenshots or stock images but uh, that's gonna be a way better way to go because you're gonna have unique images that AI didn't create and nobody else created but yourself. So this is gonna be saving a lot of time. That's a high value advantage of using the software, okay? So then we're gonna come over here and you can add links now. This is part, this part's really cool. Include links from sitemap. So I already have this in here. I've already uploaded my blog post and or my sitemap. Now, if you're using multiple blogs, then it looks like you'll have a drop map. You'll, uh, you'll have a drop down menu right here where you'll be able to select. And you can see I already have my sitemap in there. So super cool. You'll just add your sitemap. Super, super, like these little tiny things like this, um, all the difference to me. Now you're gonna come through here and um, you can add other links or external links if you want to as well, but I, I like that. Now we have a call to action. And I think this is a super, super cool thing that you can do as well. And so what we're gonna do is um, add a CTA. I'm gonna show you how to add the CTA. Um, so you can go like this and you can say, get, um, what was this one? Uh, Lytics today. And then go get this LT while it's on sale and available. Okay. And then you'll have a click me and then you'll say, get, yeah, get rank lytics, kind of a little bit of a repeat going on here, right here. But this part's really cool. So we can come up here to my um, picker and I can go over here and I can grab my brand's color and we can go to the button over here and, and watch what happens to the button. So now we're branding that. You can change the font and all that as well. But what we're gonna do right here is button text color. That's good. And then all we need to do is add an image. Come over here to downloads and there's, I can use my thumbnail. I can go into pictures and I can use this one right over here that's actually the product from AppSumo, right? That I screenshotted yesterday. So we're, you're creating a call to action, a unique one, and we can add this in right here. Oh, and you get this nice little error right here because we forgot a step. We need to put the button link. So I'll go and get my affiliate link. And then right here, we'll just put our affiliate link in right there and then we'll say add. So super cool. We've got all that. Now there's a, a more options button down here as well. And this is where you can come in here and say short, medium, long. I'm going to go with medium right here. Uh, just auto tone. This is where you can select the tone. I really like, uh, like friendly, informational. They have some really good tones in here. You can actually add a tone as well, but I like friendly. And then I also like point of view. I like first person right here. So they already add this stuff in here. These are all the things that I would like if I built a tool so far, these are the things that I would love to have in my dream video to blog post tool. So they really kind of get me and get the, their audience what we're really looking for. Primary keyword we're going to put over here. We're going to say rank, ranklytics review. So that's going to be our main keyword we want to rank for. 
add table of contents. I'm not going to do that because I already have that in my WordPress plugin. So you'll know what you need and what you don't need. I will show you this because we'll open up the first one um, and you'll be able to see what everything looks like, right? And then we have an add FAQs. Let's go ahead and add that. That's fine. Um, format is auto. You can also come in here. You can say summary. And then this is a product review. So I'm going to go ahead, but look at this ADA. They've got tutorial, news report, listicle, interview, summary, really good stuff. But product review, absolutely. Use chapters as outline. In this particular video, I don't think I actually added the chapters, but you could use that as your outline. But 49 minute video would also have a massive outline as well. So I, I probably wouldn't select that anyways. And then you have these other options. They have used emojis. I probably wouldn't select that for a blog post and have emojis all throughout your a 2,500 word blog post. No, thank you. Um, so we're going to come through here and we've got time range and you can actually select. So this is a really long, almost an hour long video. So if I wanted to split this up into different videos, I could, and, but I'm not going to do that. Right. I just want a nice, keep it kind of a nice workflow. So that's it right here. And then now we're going to go click the create blog button. So simplistic, you can spend five, seven minutes on the setup and then you're gonna get the best content, right? But right now it's actually uploading the file, okay? And then it's going to actually transcribe that file. It would be maybe kind of nice if it had an option to, for me to paste the transcription because I use Descript to edit my videos and so forth. And so it would be nice if I could um, in my already transcribed uh, kind of transcription, right? And so then I wouldn't have to, then they would, I would they, we wouldn't have to use their, their resources, right? But it kind of doesn't matter because you would still be using one blog post credit. So you may as well just let them do their thing, right? All right. So it's in the transcribing us right here. This will take a minute. All right. So here we are. It's starting to write the content. You can see we're at 27% writing sections one through five. I do like that it gives us a preview of what we're working with, right? So it has a comprehensive Ranklytics review. Is this the ultimate SEO and AI writing tool? In this Ranklytics review, we'll dive deep into this newly launched AI writer and SEO optimization tool, exploring its features, pricing, and overall performance. Whether you're a seasoned marketer or just starting, this tool promises to enhance your content strategy and improve your website's SEO. So introduction to Ranklytics. Hey there, let's dive into the world of Ranklytics, a fresh tool that's just hit the market. If you're looking for something that combines SEO, blah, blah, blah. This tool is designed to analyze over 200 um, ranking signals. We go into the pricing structure. It did follow the results, right? The custom instructions I gave it. It does say that they're running a limited lifetime promotion. Here's the pricing tiers, 49, 139, 349. That does look, that looks very accurate. Now, I believe that they would use a screenshot right here. If we didn't put the pricing in there, they would have added a screenshot. But we have a nice uh, bowl right there, which is great. Now it's, it's adding in, we're done. It's adding in the screenshots and so forth. So here's, you know, how the screenshots get added. Here's something that I didn't see in some of the other reviews. I think I've only watched one actually, but we can go in and you can actually select this. You can actually change the screenshot. If you want to, we can come in here, go down here to, uh, you could find a pricing one. But then another thing you can do is you can push the edit button and then look at, check this out. You have all these different things. You can crop the image. You can uh, put in a filter, a warm, all kinds of cool stuff you can do. You can fine tune this exposure and temperature. You can annotate, you can add rectangles, right? So if I wanted to add a rectangle right here, we could go and highlight this like that. And then you would just come in here and the line color, maybe this would be red. And then we'd go into the fill color would be blank right there. And then the line, you could make that like a medium just like that, right? And then you can decorate. There's different things you can do with decorate. You can frame, so you can actually change the frame of the image as well. And then you can resize the image. And then we'll push done, and then look what ends up happening. So now we can actually make changes live to that image with a full editor right here. So you could even make these stand, uh, images stand out even more. So I really like that feature. That's kind of a secret feature that you wouldn't know unless you actually click on the image and see that there's an actual little edit pencil that you know, opens up in a, a whole image editor, which is super cool. So we've got pricing structure right here. Boom. So there's the pricing. So we actually have a table and this is what I was talking about. And then we also have the pricing right here and you can see how accurate it is 49 bucks, 139 bucks, 349 bucks. And then everything else is accurate as well. Articles per month on the tier one is three content audits is 25 and a hundred tracked keywords. So it's a very, very accurate overview. So we got AI writing. So let's talk, uh, Ranklytics is packed. 
I'm not seeing quite, let's see, I'm not getting in the other previous article. Okay, so here we go. So when you first log in, you're greeted with a clean and intuitive interface. However, I found that while the design is sleek, it may not be immediately clear for new users how to navigate through all the features. A little more guidance could go a long way. So it's doing a really good job with the content. It's very, very good content. Uh, research capabilities right over here. So you can see that the paragraphs are all very short. Um, there's one sentence and then there's two sentence, three sentence. I'm not seeing where one, let's see. I'm just kind of counting two, three, it looks like four sentences right there, but they were short sentences. doesn't look like any more than four sentences per paragraph. So that's really, really good. We got content writing and optimization. You got all these nice screenshots. Let's count the screenshots now. It does look like it probably has more than six, but so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So the screenshots, we have 14 screenshots. And I think that, you know, Google will like that because it really splits the content up. You can even see it created a table on its own right here because I did talk about a comparison between Ranklytics and Keyword Hero. It kind of does that with the pricing a comparison, just a, does a brilliant job. The screenshots, I did instruct it to only do six. It created 14, so that part didn't work. Just some feedback. They'll probably be watching this video. Uh, maybe to try to dial that in a little bit better would be really great, but not like a, not a deal, you know, breaker by any means. And then we have our a, uh, rank, our FAQ. Uh, is Ranklytics suitable for beginners? Yes, while there may be a learning curve, and that's true. Uh, I talked about the learning curve and so forth. Can I use Ranklytics for multiple projects? Yes, um, I think at tier two, you'd be able to do that. How does Ranklytics compare to other SEO tools? It does a really great job for that. Maybe right here, you would just grab this and then push delete. We don't need that image in right there. Now it's important to know right over here, I'm trying to show you as much as I can about the tool. I don't want this video to get too long, but if you push return and then you push the forward slash, you'll have all these different, these different options, kind of like Notion, where you'll be able to um, use the AI writer. You'll be able to create an AI image. I've already done that. I'm going to show you briefly when I talk about the first, when I use the, um, use the tool for the first hour before making the review, you got screenshots, stock images, all that kind of good stuff. So um, this is really, really good in here. I don't think video thumbnail will work. I tried that. If you upload the video natively from the MP4 file, it's not going to do a video thumbnail because the video thumbnail is going to be pulled for from your YouTube video. If you pasted the YouTube video in there for your video, if that makes sense. So really, really great options right over there. You can see that we have this nice call to action. We can even change the background if we want, but I like that. So get Ranklytics today, get, go get this LTD while it's on sale and available. And then this button you can see in the lower left hand corner, it does have my affiliate link. So really, really good stuff. Here's another little secret. If you hover over left click control C, we can actually come up here. I'm going to go up to the pricing section where we talk about pricing right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push return and go up and then I'm going to paste. So that way we actually can paste that in as many times as we want as well, which I think is really, really great as well. So your export features, you can click on export. Now you can have a public link right over here. I believe that's for if you want other someone, uh, your VA to be able to edit or something like that. You have your HTML, you have your text markdown copy. Uh, this copies right into WordPress, which is great. You've got your Word, you got a PDF, and you have your export options right over here to wordpress.com, wordpress.org, medium at blogger, and ghost.org. You can share it on these other platforms as well. So a lot of good options there. Now you can click on these three dots over here. You can actually get to all these other options right over here as well. And so you do have to click on the three dots. And if I say content optimizer, now watch what ends up happening. Now we've got our full fledged kind of surfer SEO type tool right over here. We're getting an 81% from their native score. Um, and it's saying it's excellent. So it's within range. It is, um, this blog appears to be written by AI. You can go check that with uh, zero GPT, different tools like that. It does say this blog is written in fifth and sixth grade. I don't know where they get this score from, but I do like to go and check. So we'll do a control A, control copy, and then we'll go in to Hemingway and I'll go and re remove this content here and we'll see what Hemingway says. And I've gotten consistently a grade nine from both times I've used the tool. So that's really great. I'm happy there, but we're going to go through. So I don't know where they're getting the fifth or sixth grade. They're obviously using a different tool to measure this, but Hemingway is like a go-to tool that everybody uses. So I'm getting a grade nine there. We also have 1200 words. That seems to be about the word count that it creates for you on the medium level, which um, I think it's great that it took a 49 minute, probably over 10,000 words of content and it condensed it down into a 1200 word blog post. This is certainly longer than blog posts that I can create in Claude or ChatGPT. 
GPT. So I'm very happy there. And then it, it kind of gives you different points, you know, long sentences. It's giving you all these different points, images, 15. So links, it didn't add any links. I want to come through here. It doesn't add any links. The links that it's saying that we have are these links right over here. So those are the two links. It didn't actually, even though I uploaded my sitemap, it did not automatically add the internal links, which that's kind of a bummer because that's a big thing. They do need to get that fixed. Um, I'm sure they will get that fixed. That's a great feature, but they, but I, but as you can see, I don't see any links that were actually added to the article that are from the sitemap. We have our keyword analysis, ranklytics review, keyword density. Um, it needs, we need more in there. Now I can say on my first run, it did a really good job. It added it, I think three times, but if I come in here and I go control find and we go through the content. So there's one, it only added it twice, right? So in the first test, it did add it three times into the article. So that's probably going to be hit and miss right there. Obviously, you're going to take this right here and you're going to add it in. We're going to go to the very bottom and just say, and another thing, so I'm going to say like this, thanks, thanks for watching my Ranklytics review. And then I'm going to say my final rating is a 4.9 stars out of five. So I'm going to make sure that I put this in here. I'm also going to bold this. Now I will say that on my first test of this, it actually did this on its own. So it actually did do a, um, under the final verdict type thing, it also included the, the rating. So what I would recommend in my workflow is probably including that, like always end with my final rating because I always give final ratings of software and so forth in the tool. So it has the metadata right over here. You've got your meta title, description, your slug, and your tags for WordPress. You've got promotion, Instagram post, Facebook post, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, and an email promotion promoting the blog post, which is cool. Some really cool features. And you can get to anything you want right over here. You can click on the more button, and that's where that forward slash tip comes from. Now I am seeing, I wanted to see if it would do the keyword density. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this because the keyword density is at zero, it should be because we added. Yeah, so this part right here, I'm not seeing like a refresh right here. It's not saying how we refresh this score. We should be able to refresh this score right here. There should be a button. It is, looks like it's scanning the AI detector right there in 81, but I'm just not seeing where we refresh this. So there needs to be a clear button to refresh the scores because we did make changes and we want to see the score update. I want to talk about the humanize feature right over here. I'm basically just going to tell you not to use it because in my testing, right? So let's go open up that other article real quick. The first try, this was 1700 words and this was over an hour ago. The first time I tested it, right? I, and this is what it looks like when it embeds something, but you can see right over here that before the humanize on the first test, we got an 87 vid to blog score. So that SEO score was an 87, which is really high. We got a 55 neuron writer score. We got an 84 Grammarly score, which is very low. And then the Hemingway score of, of ninth, ninth grade. So that's pretty good. The only thing I'm concerned about there is probably the Grammarly score. And then after I clicked the humanize button and used that and tested that, we got a 74 video to blog score. So it went down significantly. Words increased from 1200 to over 2000 words. And that's just kind of a long blog post, in my opinion, for this kind of product review. Neuron Writer stayed at 55. Uh, 55 Grammarly score went down significantly. And then Hemingway score increased to 14, grade 14. So that just shows you that the human eyes is, the, the content's gonna be terrible. And then another thing that happened in here is you'll see all kinds of weird coding things ended up happening, like this right here. All the screenshots ended up giving a ton of different uh, coding issues. So I wouldn't recommend using the, maybe you want to use the humanize section and test it out if you choose not to do any images. If you choose to do images, it looks like there's some coding issues that are going to, when it rewrites the content, you're going to have a lot of issues, all these timestamp issues and stuff like that. So it's not really usable. Okay. So that is kind of what I, what I found out about using it the, the first time. But at the end of the day, testing it, those are your scores right over here. The scores that I usually do right there is an 87 in their score, a 55 in Neuron Writer, an 84 Grammarly, and a Hemingway ninth grade. But overall, is this impressive? So I've got to end with what do I think about this tool? Well, this is definitely by far the best video to blog SEO tool that I have tried out because it, it is seem, seeming 
to do everything that I would like it to be able to do. They're at least thinking of all the things that you would want to include in a tool like this, like the, the links. It's completely transcribing your content and almost verbatim rewriting it into a, a formal blog post, right? In your tone of voice and so forth. The screenshots is the probably the, the, the coolest part, the golden taco, if you will, because adding in those screenshots is something that I would manually do and it just takes so much, so long that you just end up not doing it, right? And so I really like that feature. I like the CTA feature where you can build kind of a custom banner inside of each one as well. I'm not sure how much I would use the content optimization tool. It's definitely, I always get this kind of tool. Is this a replacement for a neuron writer? For content optimization and on-page, you know, optimization, SEO and so forth, uh, NLP keywords and stuff. This is absolutely not, it's going to be very hard to beat Neuron Writer with any of these tools, right? So this is not going to be your content optimization tool. One workflow that you might want to do is to copy the content that it creates here, paste it into Neuron Writer, and then add some more flair and add some more NLP keywords to your content uh, to get an, a higher SEO score. But at the end of the day, I'm very, very happy with what I see with this. Like I said, keep this in mind. This is the best one. I think I liked this one better than BlogFox. I am going to be doing a BlogFox update soon as well, and we'll see where they fare right now after a couple of months. I have been talking with the creator there. They have fixed some things about their software as well. But I really liked video to blog this software right here. And a lot of people do that it's getting five stars right now. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4.5 because it didn't add the internal links because of the humanizer didn't work. And then also I forgot to tell you, I wasn't able to connect my website as well. And so I will say that I did some, submit a support ticket and they did get back to me within an hour. So that's great but I am having kinks in trying to connect my blog so I can just push boom and publish, right? So with all those things, I can't give it a five star. I really like this. I'm probably going to be picking this up probably like a tier three or something like that. Um, so let me know what you guys think. And did you like this review style? It still ended up being a longer video than I wanted, but it's definitely not a 50 minute video. So some improvement, I'm going to try to test the tools out for a good 30 minutes to an hour before I make the reviews. So I have uh, kind of know what I want to talk about in the softwares. So thanks for joining me. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go pick up video to blog, there will be a link below. It helps support the channel. I'm not sponsored for this video or in, in any way. But if you do pick it up with the link below, it just helps support the channel so I can continue on a daily basis bringing the most important software reviews to you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.